I was down on Fifth Avenue, down at the $100,000 bar. I walked in and that's where I spotted her whoppers. I'm telling you, she had the nicest set of mallow cups I'd ever seen. This chick was bubblicious. I'm pretty sure she danced for the Raisinettes. Now her eyes met and oh, there was a star burst in the Milky Way as if Mars had exploded. Now I didn't want to seem like one of those nerds, goobers, or even a dum-dum. Just knew I wanted a bit of honey. So I walked up carefree and said, hey baby, Ruth, you have your choice. We can get a uh, nutrageous an hour later. She looked me right in the eyes and tell me nothing would satisfy her more than a little Snickers. And all I could think was, yeah, well, wait till you meet old Mr. Goodbar. See, I was ready to score, but she said she needed to freshen up. Now, I suggest we go to the Hershey bar. She said, the hell with that. Let me grab my friend Peppermint Patty. We'll just head on back to my place. Man, I was falling to Reese's Pieces because these were a couple of sweet tarts. I mean, it was like double men, double the pleasure, double the fun, as long as they swallow my, oh shit, y'all know what I'm talking about. We climbed into my 1976 Ford Mentos, pulled right up to her powerhouse. Now in the bedroom, we were like the three musketeers and oh, it was time for payday. I let my hand slide down to those mounds, came back up with a couple of Butterfingers. Oh, I knew it was good and plenty. I could tell by a juicy fruit. I got nervous though, so I thinking, damn dude, what if you're a milk dud? but no way because I was as hard as a jawbreaker. Now, being a new millennium, I knew I had to be careful. I knew it was time to put a wrapper on my bazooka. Hey, I wasn't taking the chance of contracting Skittles or even Goo Goo Clusters, but it happened. I, I had a premature cinnaburst. I had to think fast, so I went down on them like they were a couple of Reese's peanut butter cups because, you know, there is no wrong way to eat one. By now, he was back. Old Big Red was standing up like a pixie stick. It was time, bar none. I dove into that Kit Kat... Oh, I rode it like a jolly rancher. She hollered out, oh, Henry. She kind of pissed me off, the name's Heath. But that's all right, I gave it several more fun dips and she was screaming hubba bubba and I was screaming bubba yum. So when I felt her gussers and I got my zag nut. I'm telling you, it felt so good. My sour balls drugged to the size of a couple little bitty Tic Tacs. It was all over, man. That sucker just hung there like a gummy worm. Gotta tell you though, the whole experience was pure almond joy, because sometimes you feel like a nut. Ooh.